All right, what is going on guys? So as you can see, I have another battle for you for the Pokemon Doubles League, and um, I'm bringing the team that I normally bring because it hasn't seemed to fail me yet, and as you can see, my opponent is Juan, he is a Los Angeles Ludicolos, and he's bringing a pretty standard rain team with the uh, the Zapdos and the Toxicroak and the um, Politoed. Now, this battle I was really, really scared for because my team sucks against weather teams. Like, it is freaking terrible. I cannot express this enough. Now, honestly, I predicted him to lead off with the, um, the, uh, Politoed and the other thing, the Ferrothorn. That's really, really, really what I predicted. So right now, I knew he wasn't going to stay in with that. I figured that he would do something else, but he goes into the Ferrothorn, so I'm really, really glad I did not Brave Bird it. I'm so glad. What I decided to do was go for Protect, because I know that that Sableye is going for a Will-O-Wisp on me. I knew it was. It was too obvious not to. So my uh, Heliolisk is just going to go for a clean Volt Switch, and it's going to get the heck out of there, just because uh, I needed a little bit of Switch initiative. I needed it. I needed it. I needed it. Now Pyroar is going to come in here, and Pyroar kind of could play a key role on this team. Now Braviary is going to switch out, and I'm going to switch right back into my Heliolisk, because if he hits me with a Will-O-Wisp, Heliolisk is not going to care, because he is a special attacker. I knew he wasn't going to take the chance of taking a flamethrower to the face, so I knew he was going to bring the Politoed, and I figured I knew he was going to bring the Politoed. I knew he was, but I did not do the smart play, and I didn't go for the Power Herb um, uh, Solar Beam. I don't know why. I went for a Will-O-Wisp instead, just just in case. I don't I don't know why. I don't know why. I wish I knew why, but I don't know why. Um, so now Lil Wayne. Oh my gosh, it's named Lil Wayne because it has the Drizzle ability. Holy tits. I did not even see that coming at all. I wish I did. I go for a Volt Switch onto the Politoed for a couple different reasons because I knew that it would almost knock it out. And I go into my Zangoose because there's no reason for him to double Will-O-Wisp me. But he does go for an Ice Beam. I live it pretty well, but he gets the Freeze Hacks. Right here, I knew I lost. I knew I lost. I'm going for a Flamethrower onto the Sableye just to gauge about how much damage it would do. And he surprises me and goes for the knockoff and knocks off my power herb. So I'm like, so this thing is kind of sort of crippled. It's kind of sort of trash now because there's no reason that this thing should even be in here. Um, the Lil Wayne is going to uh, get burned and he's going to die next turn to burn no matter what. So I didn't really see a point in attacking it at all, honestly. And he's going to send in the Zapdos. So predicting the Zapdos coming in, I... Hold on, wait for the pressure to go away. I go for a Protect, because I did not want this thing to go for, like, another move on me or anything like that. And, um, I went for a quick attack with my Zangoose. Not like it really freaking mattered. But, uh, he goes for a knockoff, knocks off my Toxic Orb, and that's going to take me down to 12 HP. So I'm kind of sort of screwed with my options right now. I'm very, very limited. Um, Sableye right now is going to go for Protect, because I think he was expecting me to Will-O-Wisp it. I don't know why, because the Zapdos is a bigger problem right now, considering the fact that it's in the rain and it carries Thunder. Like, that's just one thing that I never want to mess with, ever, is a Zapdos in the rain. He does go for the Thunder, and he does go for Thunder onto my Pyroar, and Pyroar is going to go down to the rain. So... That really sucks for me because the one thing that I really, really needed was for him to stay alive so I could power herb solar beam, but I got my power up knocked off. So that thing was honestly, it. I'm in a lose-lose situation right here, guys. So I go into my Heliolisk for a couple different reasons. I needed to do a little bit of damage to something. I didn't know what I could do damage to, but I do go for a Volt Switch onto the Zapdos just to see if he's more specially or physically defensive, and I see that he's more physically defensive because if he was specially defensive, that would have done literally nothing. So now Diggersby is going to come in, and he's going to go for an HP Ice onto... It's either HP Ice or HP Water, I would assume HP Ice at this point, and um, or I would assume HP Water at this point because he's in the rain. Um, Sableye is going to go for a knockoff onto my Diggersby and knock off my Choice Band. So every single one of my Pokemon are just becoming more and more useless because of this stupid Sableye. Sableye and the Freeze, they they were my biggest problems in this battle. So now that the uh, Zapdos is going to get burned and he is below half, I'm going to go into my Braviary for a couple different reasons. This thing is Life Orb. So I wanted to get off a quick attack onto the Zapdos, thinking that maybe it would take it enough, it would take it down enough to where um, the burn would kill it next turn. I knew he was going to go for Hidden Power Ice and knock me out. I knew he was. There was no doubt in my freaking mind that that was going to happen. 
So I know that um, I'm going to outspeed if he's going for a uh, knockoff, and if he went for a Will-O-Wisp, either way, I was screwed. So I'm going to go for a Brave Bird, and it didn't knock it out in one hit. So I was, uh, <sighs> I was pretty much SOL right here. I didn't have anything I could do at all. I was, I'm just screwed. I'm really screwed. There was nothing I could do. So, um, Zapdos is going to continue to get burnt and he is going to, uh, just really, he's going to really suffer from this. I send in my Keldeo because I know Keldeo cannot get knocked off because of the justified boost. It would not be smart for him to knock it off. So what I did was I went for a secret sword onto the Zapdos just in case he switched out to anything else. Anything else would, it would have taken a lot of damage from the secret sword, but it, it just, it didn't. He stayed in and I'm going to go for a Brave Bird onto the Sableye and then the Sableye is... Oh, pardon me. Sableye is going to die right here to the Brave Bird that's going to, like, do a lot of damage to me as well because I'm going to get a lot of recoil from that. So I was... <sighs> I was kind of screwed here. So Lil Wayne is going to come in and uh, Ferrothorn is going to come in. Now, right here, I had a couple different options. I thought that my Braviary would outspeed the Lil Wayne. I really, really, really thought it would. I don't, I don't know why I thought that, but I really thought it would. So he actually shows me that he is Scarfed. Because there is no way that a Politoed would ever outspeed a Keldeo unless it was Scarfed. So he Scarfed Ice Beam me and killed me off. And so I go for a Secret Sword and I go for the Secret Sword onto the Politoed. I don't know why I did that. At this point, I think I kind of just gave up because there was no way I could win at all. And Ferrothorn's going to go for a Power Whip. I was like, a fully defensive um, Ferrothorn. Maybe I could live that, but I can't. I just, I can't live it. It was way... <sighs> There was no way I could win this battle right here. Um, Heliosk is going to come in. He is my last Pokemon, and he still has three Pokemon at this point in time. He still has three Pokemon at this point in time. So um, I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt in the rain just to be safe, and it didn't kill. If I packed Thunder on this thing like I thought I should have, but he goes for a Drain Punch, knocks out my Heliosk, and that was a 3-0 loss in his favor. So that's really upsetting. Right now, we are standing at... Uh, uh, four and one. I realize I forgot to show my other battle, but the video got lost somewhere and I can't find it. So I did win the other battle. So right now we are coming in at four and one. We're still doing really well. I'm still really optimistic, even though this is our first loss. I want to thank you, Juan, for the amazing battle. Make sure you guys leave a like and a comment down below, and I will see you guys later. Have a fantastic day. Bye.